Sean Stevens here from the Coyote. Welcome to my home tonight for the Coyote Kids Book Club. Uh, my wife Kimberly is running the uh, camera over there and I will tell you that, I don't know if you saw my post on Facebook earlier this week, but it was National Puppy Day. And I posted a picture of my three dogs and they're all gathered around. The question is, will they be quiet through the course of the book? especially because we're going to be reading if you give a dog a donut and they may think it's about them. So we have to be very careful <laughs> not to get them too excited. Uh, appreciate you joining us. This has been kind of fun for all of us to uh, be able to share a little time in our homes with you. And uh, hopefully it's given the parents a little break. I know my daughter mentioned to me, uh, last night, she said, I love the fact that you guys read books because it's one less thing that I have to do. So that's why we're doing it. Uh, Amy did a fantastic job last night. Of course, Jeff, I don't have the pink robe like he was wearing, but, uh, <laughs> and of course, uh, Paul next to his fireplace, I don't have that going for us, but, uh, I do appreciate you joining us. Thank you. And we're giving an opportunity for some people to get logged in. Uh, we do want to, to remind you that we do this each and every night at seven o'clock. Uh, Kimberly and I were talking, we thought it might be kind of cool if uh, you take a picture of where you're watching, maybe the kids gathered together watching the videos or the Facebook Lives and you post it in the comments right below. Thought that might be kind of cool and we can share those. So if you have the opportunity, please do that. Uh, again, we thank you. Uh, tonight, I'm going to read, If You Give a Dog a Donut. Oh, real quick, I want to say hi to Aubrey. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine, Bill, earlier today, and he said his daughter, Aubrey, has the entire series and had pulled them out today for some crazy reason and was reading them. And I said, hey, you know, I'm going to be reading If You Give a Dog a Donut tonight, so maybe pull that one out and read along with me. So if you have the book, Maybe you could pull it out. I'll tell you about tomorrow's book coming up. So maybe if you have that in your collection, uh, you can get it ready ahead of time. So it's If You Give a Dog a Donuts by Laura Numeroff. Some great pictures in here from Felicia Bond. I'll do my best to uh, try to show some of the photos to you as well. So there's some of the illustrations. If You Give a Dog a Donut. And here we go. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Getting down to the last drop right there. Then he'll ask for more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. Look at him, he's on a skate. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. It's what happens when you have three dogs. He's gonna go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll wanna play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Of course, he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Look at that ball sailing over the apple tree. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. That's my favorite. You guys do happy dances? It's so much fun. We love parents. We love to watch happy dances. So make sure you do that. Dancing will make him hot and dusty. So he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Aye, it's Pirate Dog. You know, Jeff's dog's named Pirate. 
<laughs> then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. Look at him over by the trees, looking for all kinds of little things. It's funny what you can find when you're looking. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. It'll go higher and higher. Look at how high that kite is in the sky. Until it gets tangled in the apple tree. Oh, there it is. Look at him. Way up there. The tree's going to remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. <laughs> what a cute story. If you give a dog a donut. Hope you enjoyed this one tonight. Again, it's our pleasure to be reading to you and for you, giving parents just a little bit of a break. And uh, keep in mind, we do this each and every night. Tomorrow night, Ransom is going to continue with our dog theme. He's got one that he was reciting to me today that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's called Puddle Pug. So if you have Puddle Pug in your collection, make sure you get it out and you get ready for Ransom to read tomorrow night. He's crazy. He likes to throw in voices and do fun things, so make sure you get that. If you don't have it, make sure you're listening and watching tomorrow at 7 o'clock for the Coyote Kids Club, uh, the book club. We appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you joining me in my home tonight. This is something that we uh, rarely get a chance to do is share a little time outside of the radio. Uh, some things to remind you of during this time of isolation. Uh, make sure that you're staying safe and healthy. Follow those CDC guidelines. You know what social distancing is, right? You hear it a lot. It means you need to stay far apart, like six feet apart from people. Like if you're going to the store or maybe walking around the neighborhood, it's not time to be gathered together. You have to give yourself some distance, like six feet apart. Wash your hands regularly. I know mom and dad talk about that all the time. It's so important. Just basically, and mom and dad, you can explain this later. We need to be socially responsible, which means we watch out for each other and take care of each other. Uh, it's been my pleasure to be here tonight. I want you to remember you need to go and brush your teeth and get ready for bed, kids. Give mom and dad a big hug. Be kind to each other. Be kind to brothers and sisters. I know it's tough when you're stuck in the house all the time, but remember to love each other. And again, we thank you for joining us for the Coyote Kids Book Club. Have a great night. Good night.